For the students and teachers of tomorrow, it is critically important they understand how computers think and solve problems. It's called computational thinking, and it affects not just STEM-focused areas, but other disciplines like language, art, and social sciences as well. But how do we pass these principles of computational thinking on to the next generation? At Michigan State University in East Lansing, Michigan, a faculty member of the College of Education, Dr. Aman Yadov, has been studying this topic for years and believes he knows how to make this vision a reality. Computational thinking is a way of solving problems by drawing on principles and ideas fundamental to computer science. As our world is influenced by computing more and more, it's important for students to understand how those ideas and practices could be used to solve problems in other disciplines as well. It's important for students to be computationally literate because it allows them to be better critical consumers of information they encounter online. My work focuses on computer science education, uh, mainly focusing on uh, preparing teachers to teach computing ideas, both at the elementary school level as well as at the high school level. It's a well-known need to train teachers to teach computer science, as well as uh, embed these computational thinking ideas and practices. However, a lot of the current efforts focus on in-service teachers. There are very few programs who focus on pre-service teachers, so current teacher education students. New teachers must be prepared to embed certain principles of computational thinking into their classes. Dr. Yadov calls these principles the three A's. Algorithm, which is using a sequence of steps to solve a problem. Abstraction, which is reducing a problem to its bare essence. And automation, which is using tools to automate the solution to a problem. It's important for students to understand how algorithms influence our lives. How can we um, use abstraction principles to solve problems, as well as how can we automate uh, those uh, solutions to problems. It's important that they get exposed to these ideas like algorithms. So when they, as they progress through K-12 system, they are familiar with those terms and they're more likely to pursue computing careers and computing courses so in one of our uh, NSF grants, we embedded computational thinking module. It was a one-week module for all pre-service teachers in the Intro to Ed Tech course. And even that small module showed us that teachers' perceptions about the importance of computing in their future careers as teachers changed, and also how they would embed computational thinking within their future classrooms changed. Uh, so one week, uh, module had a profound impact on their ability to see the applicability of computational thinking to their future career as a teacher. And now we're arguing that we need to change a whole course uh, or even the teacher education curriculum around computational thinking. My big hope is that every pre-service teacher that comes through a teacher education program is computationally literate and understands how computational thinking and these ideas influence our lives. To get more details and take a closer look, please refer to the April 2017 Communications of the ACM and read the contributed article, Computational Thinking for Teacher Education.